You know, the hours of service is really uh, one of my uh, uh, big issues right now, but it's not only with uh, my company, Jet Express, but so many other tr uh, trucking companies. You know, trucking today, we are the rolling inventory, and the recent changes in the rules of uh, hours of service rules in, back in July 1st of last year has greatly affected the way that we handle uh, freight. Um, because of those changes, I've noticed a 10% uh, cut or loss of drivers, both company and owner operators. The hours of service regulations that took uh, effect in 2013 have been impactful to our business, it, particularly as you look at the 34-hour restart. Our schedule mirrors that of manufacturing, distribution, and seaport import export activities. So they expect their freight to be moved between Monday and Friday. And our operations mirror that. And it equates to about a 62-hour work week for our drivers. And they don't qualify for a restart. So they have to go day to day in the next week on a 70-hour recap. And they run out of hours uh, sometime on Tuesday or Wednesday morning of that week. So when America is expecting its freight to be delivered and picked up, our drivers find themselves taking a 34-hour restart. How do you explain the fact that an owner-operator who invests his, all of his money and his equipment can run six days a week for two or three years prior to the hours of service change, and now all of a sudden he comes to me and says, Kevin, why can't I work on Saturday? I've been working on Saturday, hauling the, the freight safe, in a safe manner, then now all of a sudden the regulation says I can't do it. I can't legally do it to have him work on Saturday and then the need to have him on Monday because just in time is scheduled. So it's Monday through Friday. With the economy picking up, we need Saturday work. When we put Saturday in there because of the new hours of service uh, regulations, if you will, it disqualifies them. If you're so fortunate to be able to take a 34-hour restart over the course of a weekend, it exacerbates highway congestion. It exacerbates emissions that are going in the atmosphere because this regulation dumps concentrated amounts of commercial traffic onto the highway system at 5.01 a.m. Monday morning when uh, people are trying to get their offices and businesses and their workplaces and uh, we're trying to deliver uh, children to school and, and just all kinds of activities. I mean, now that the economy's picking up, that's the time to, uh, as they say, make hay. So uh, the shippers are concerned because of the fact that I'm the contracted carrier, if you will, and uh, I'm turning back freight. And when you turn back freight, you pay more. It's called a premium or expedite. Uh, it's uh, the end user, the consumer, is going to have to pay more. But more impactful, it impedes the free flow movement of America's goods. And what Americans need to understand and what our elected officials need to understand about this regulation, while it does all these negative things to our industry, it doesn't bring about one ounce of public highway safety. And yeah, let's take a look at the rule uh, over the next year and uh, come up with some concrete evidence. We're, we're still safe and it just doesn't make any sense as to why we need this change.